Hello, right then. So we've got uh, another example now. So it says, in the situation where a car is slowing down, so is the trailer. Now they slow down at the same time. So if the trailer's not got brakes on it, it says some force must act in the opposite direction to the motion of the car and trailer. In this case, the tow bar exerts a thrust on both the car and the trailer. So it's kind of like trying to push back and stop it, isn't it? So it says a car of mass 900 kilos, so 900 g, if we take that as a car, is towing a trailer of mass 600 kilos, 600 g, by means of a rigid tow bar. The car exert, experiences a resistive force of 200, and the trailer 300. Um, so I'm assuming going this way, I've got two normal resistances. It says, if the car exerts a forward force of three kilonewtons, 3,000 newtons, that's where my acceleration will um, find the tension and the acceleration. Right then, so treat it as one particle, and that'll find the acceleration. So I've got a whole thing here, it's 1500g, it's got 3000 pushing it, and a combined 500 stopping it, with a normal reaction and an acceleration. Yeah. You can read that. So F equals MA, so force in the direction of travel is 3000, force opposing it is 500. That's equal to a combined mass of 1500 over A. So that gives me 5 over 3 meters per second squared for A. 2500 over 1500. So I've found my acceleration. So now let's just look at the trailer. So if I do F equals MA on the trailer, so this I've got my little T. So I've got T is the force in the direction of travel. 300 is is off it, is equal to a mass of 600 times by 5 over 3. So if I take the 300 over, that will give me 1300 newtons. So that's part A done there. So I just looked at the trailer on its own. Right, so part B says the engine is switched off and the brakes are now applied uh, with a retarding force of 500 newtons. I hate that word. Find the deceleration. Okay, right then. So look at the whole system. Well, let's put some things in here then. So what do we got here? So we've got the 900G, the 600G. It's got like a... Um, so we're saying now that it's got its force of 500. So we've actually put the arrow that way. I would put the arrow on the other side though, really, to be fair. Still got the 200, still got the 300, still got R's. It's slowing down, so it's still going positive direction that way. But this time, the forces are shunted. So these are now thrust forces going in the opposite direction. Right, so if I look at the whole system. Whew, so if I do F equals MA for the whole system. The force in the direction of travel is there is no force in the direction of travel. All I've got is the minus a thousand in total. That's equal to a combined mass of 1500 A. So what have we got there? So I've got minus a thousand is 1500 A. So minus two thirds is A. Then if I look at the trailer again, doing F equals MA, there is no force in the direction of travel again. There's nothing going left to right on the trailer. And it's minus T, minus 300, is 600, lots of minus two thirds. If I do the rearrange, it gives me a T value of 100 newtons T, and that's a thrust. And that's on oh, nature, see nature is frost. Get it in quick before it stops. There, frost. There. Sorry about that one. Bye bye.